Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Blue Maxima and I'm here doing another PlayStation Mobile True First Impressions. Today we're taking a look at Hoverdrive by ZD, that name's familiar. This game costs like five bucks, it better be worth something. God, just, having to sit here doing all this recording really takes a number on your... F oh, I got into it real quick. Okay, so apparently you need to come first in every level before it lets go to the next one. And you need to do better in specific levels in order to unlock new cars, so I guess we're stuck with the space taxi. Uh, let's go then. Will this be a racing game, or will it be a time trial game, or what? Who the fuck knows? Couldn't really tell from the screenshots. Those stretched textures, wow. Okay, uh, hold R to accelerate. This car handles like my ass. Seriously. I guess, I guess this is... Fuck me. I guess this is why they want you to get like a silver medal in order to get new cars, so then you use them to get golds. Seriously, this car's turning is so slow, my grandmother could probably outrun it. It's very boring. No soundtrack. Only really ambient sound effect is the car's engine. This definitely doesn't look like an Earth-like planet. Could have some sort of aliens like running across the screen or something for me to try and run over. Can't get in style. Oh, good lord. Now, if you'll stop humping that rock, please. Oh god, why? Great, I'm gonna have to restart. Well, you can do it in first person mode. Let's do it in first person mode then. We have to at least get silver. The speedometers actually work. To a point. Oh god, no, rock. Fantastic. What an absolutely fabulous driving model. I feel like I'm playing Drive Club, but everything's half as bad. Oh, no, let me try that again. Twice as bad. Then again, you also have... God fucking damn it. You also have bad handling in the drive car. Drive... Cut... Cut... Cunt. God damn it. Ugh. Can't speak today. Game's driving model is terrible. Although the drifting certainly works as expected. Maybe if it gave you a better car to start out with. Oh, I guess it's all about learning the track, isn't it? How long is this track? Could you even realistically do this in like 87 seconds? Well, I guess we're gonna have to do that again, aren't we?
Seems like a concept begging for some weapons and some AI opponents. I seriously have a hard time believing that you could do this in even 90 seconds. Of course, it's just so fucking long. Must use concentration. Must not ream into any tiny ass rock formations. Remember that tiny rock formation there that always fucks you? Yeah, I really don't think you'd be capable of doing this in 85 seconds with the taxi, so I imagine they're trying to force you to unlock the better cars to replay the level with. Did that count for the silver? Thank God it did, and they're driving around a redneck truck. Redneck truck. Great. Now we have to do the course again, but get an even better time in order to unlock the next course, which will be the same. Only sound being an engine, trying to learn the course so that the small rock formations don't absolutely fuck you over. Sort of thing. They say they're going to add new... Fuck Christ. God, the weirdest games tend to remember your menu positioning. Not a fan. Really not. Could do to be a fair bit easier. The handling definitely needs a bit of a kick in the ass. Seriously, it's so goddamn slow. I mean, God, add weapons and AI opponents into this and make the roads a bit wider, and you could make a game that fairly resembles the old Star Wars Episode 1 Pod Racer game. I used to love that on the Nintendo 64. I mean, seriously, the handling model that feels somewhat similar, you could come pretty damn close. You could call it Battle Racers or something. De definitely not getting an 85. Yeah, screw this. You get the idea. Not a fan of the way the game's built right now. A few tweaks, maybe even a few extra mechanics might do it some good, but yeah, screw it as it is. Not worth your time. This game costs like five bucks. It's really not worth it. Although the 3D performance is relatively commendable for having such a big environment, but who knows how many tricks I had to pull to get that working. This has been Blue Maxima, and I'll see you all next time.